Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town and in today's video I'll be covering everything you need to know about fishing in this game. So we're gonna be talking about the different fish baits, the fishing nets, of course how you can find all of the different types of fish and as well as other tips and tricks. So I want to start with a little tip just so don't make the same mistake I did. So as you can see I have my museum, it's almost completed and I did get at least one of each fish. However, I'm missing one fish in my museum and of course in the museum in Olive Town you can only see the shadow of the fish so it's kind of hard. You have to read the names one by one and yeah, I'm not too sure which fish I'm missing right now. So I'm gonna have to go through all of them and figure this out and that's a lot of work. So whenever you get a new fish, always come to the museum and <laughs> make sure you donate it. Otherwise you're gonna be stuck like me and it's gonna be really hard to complete your museum. Alright, so we're gonna start with the very very basic, so if you've just started playing Olive Town and you're not sure how to get the fishing rod, you're gonna have to come to this house here on the beach, and once you go in you'll have a little cutscene with Manuela and she's gonna give you the fishing rod, so you can do this right when you start playing, so it's really easy to get this tool. So the fishing system in Olive Town is quite simple, but I'm gonna go over it just in case. Uh, so you can go near any body of water, so it can be a pond, a puddle, a lake, a river, the ocean. So basically you just press Y to cast your fishing rod, and you'll have to press Y once again once the fish bites. If there's one exclamation mark, it's a regular fish. If there's two, like in this case, it's gonna be a rare fish. So basically your goal is to bring the little fish icon to the top of the bar, without emptying the other little bar on the left. So you have to hold Y when it's blue, that's gonna be the most efficient. You can also hold it while it's green, it's gonna be good enough. And if you hold it while it's red, your bar is gonna empty really quickly, so that's not good. And the higher the star quality of the fish, the harder it's gonna be to catch. And if it takes you too much time to catch a fish, it will escape. Yeah, so just make sure you hold Y while it's blue or green, and you'll notice that each fish has a different pattern. Some of them are harder to get, some of them are easier. And of course, as you improve your fishing skill and also as you upgrade your fishing rods, things will get easier. So before I tell you how you can find all the different fish, I just want to talk quickly about the fish baits. So as you improve your fishing skills, you'll unlock recipes for different fish baits that will increase your chance of getting a specific type of fish. So at level 1 of fishing, you'll unlock the small fish bait. At level 2 you'll unlock a bait for squid, at level 3 for medium fish, at level 5 you'll get a shrimp bait and it also includes the lobsters, at level 6 you'll unlock a fishing bait for crab, at level 7 big fish, level 8 guardian fish, and then at level 10 you'll unlock a mysterious fish bait. So to use a fish bait you can either open your inventory and then press Y on the bait that you want to use and you'll have the option to attach it. And as you can see, there's going to be a little hook icon. So when you cast your rod, it will use one bait every time and you'll have a higher chance of getting that specific type of fish, even though it's not guaranteed. And you can also just press Y like this in the toolbar and it will attach the bait automatically. All right, so here's a list of all the different fish you can catch in the game. I'm not gonna go through them one by one as it would be <laughs> very lengthy and boring and actually most of them you will catch quite easily just while playing the game and fishing from time to time. However, in this video I'm gonna go through the ones that are a little bit trickier. Some of them you can only find in specific seasons or a specific time of day or like in a specific area. Alright, so we're gonna start with this one. This is a catfish. It's a medium-sized fish and it only appears in the morning from 6 a.m. to 12. It took me some time to get this one because usually I always fish at the end of the day when I don't have anything else to do. You can get it from the river in area 1 of your farm, the river that's in Olive Town, or you can also get it from the mine in area 2, or you can get it from the ancient lake as well. So it is available in a few different areas, but just make sure you go there in the morning. Next one is the Star Snapper. So this one is only available in spring and summer from 6 p.m. to midnight and you can find it in Ocean of Area 1 or Ocean in Olive Town. Then we have the Sea Bream, this one, same thing, it's available only in spring and summer, but this one is from 12 to 6 p.m. and you can find it in the Ocean of Area 2 and 3 of your farm. Then we have the Flounder, so this one is available only in spring and winter, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the Ocean of Area 3 of your farm. Also only appearing in spring and winter is the Orfish. You'll find this one in Ocean of Area 2 of your farm and it's only there between 9pm and midnight so there's only a 3 hour window 
and only two seasons so make sure you don't miss this one out next we have the tuna so this one is from 6 a.m to 5 p.m in the ocean of area 3 in the ocean of area 3 we also have the alligator gar who's there in spring summer autumn from 5 p.m to 2 a.m next we have the monkfish so this one is available in summer autumn winter from 7 p.m to 2 a.m in ocean of area 3 of your farm however once you've unlocked fisherman's island you can get it there in the ocean at any time any season next we have the giant catfish so this one is a little bit special it's one of the guardian fish we're going to be talking more about these in a moment but you're going to need to have the gold fishing rod and you can get it from the river in area one of your farm you can also get it from the river on fisherman's island and it appears from 7 to 11 a.m next we have the crayfish so this one is really easy to find actually but sometimes I get people asking where to find crayfish and you can actually get it from various lakes but the easiest way to find it is just from the little puddles next we have the rock lobster so this one only appears in winter from 5 p.m to 2 a.m in the ocean of area 2 and 3 of your farm so it's only there in winter however on fisherman's island in the ocean you can get it at any time any season also only available in winter is the blue crab from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the ocean of area 2 of your farm. However, if you go to the ancient lake, you can get it at any season, any time. Next, we have the big fin reef squid. So this one is available in spring and summer from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. in ocean of area 2 of your farm. Next, we have some seashells. So you'll find them in area 1, 2 and 3 of your farm directly on the beach. You'll be able to get zero star quality seashells however if you use fishing nets you can get higher quality as well and we're going to be talking about fishing nets a little bit later this one is abalone so this one will not appear on the beach to get this one you really do have to use the fishing nets on area three of your farm next we're going to be talking about the guardian fish so these are the hardest fish to find in the game so there's seven of them so these six right here plus the giant catfish i'm not sure why the giant catfish is in a different spot in the list but uh, they're all together and to get these you're gonna have to have at least a gold fishing rod but of course if you have the auricalcum fishing rod it's gonna be a little bit easier and most of them only appear in very short time period so let's go over each of them one by one and as i said earlier at level 8 of fishing you're gonna unlock the guardian fishing bait so i really recommend you use that for these fish it's gonna make things a lot easier so the first one is the spotted eagle ray so this one will appear in the ocean of area 3 of your farm and it's only there between 2 and 4 pm then we have the halibut so this one appears in the ancient lake from 9 to 11 pm next we have the giant grouper so this one appears in ocean of area 1 of your farm from 9 to 11 am then we have the marlin so this one appears in ocean of area 2 of your farm between 12 and 2 pm then we have the giant squid so this one is there all day every day in the ocean of the fisherman's island and last we have the giant king crab so this one is there also all day every day it's in the mine of area 3 now we only have three fish left so there's the sparkling fish the shining fish and the aurora fish if you want to increase your chance of getting them you'll have to use the mysterious fish bait uh, but they're not that rare <laughs> actually you can find them in most lakes and ocean if you go to the ocean of area 3 you'll be able to find all of these three and the only thing to really keep in mind is that the aura fish will require the auricalcum fishing rod so it's the only fish in the list that requires the auricalcum fishing rod then the guardian fish are the only ones that need the gold fishing rod and if you have the silver fishing rod you're going to be able to catch everything else one great way to complete your fish collection quite quickly is to come here in the sprite village if you have any questions about this area and the sprites i have a whole video on this so feel free to check it out so you just come and talk to the angler sprite and he's gonna give you some fish just keep in mind he's not gonna be able to give you all of the different fish just the most common one but it's still a good way to fill up your museum quite quickly so i mentioned the ancient lake quite a few times in this video so if you're wondering how you unlock this area you'll actually have to drain the lake on area three of your farm. And once the lake fills back up with clean water, you will then the next day unlock this area and you'll be able to teleport here and you can fish and you can also, of course, drain the lake to get some treasures. And this one here is a fisherman's island. So once you reach level nine in fishing, you'll unlock this area. And so there's one ocean here and there's also a river 
right here. So there's a lot of interesting fish that you can get here all year round. However, I know that it does take quite some time to get to level 9 of fishing and sometimes it can feel like you'll never get there but there's one way you can increase your fishing skill quite quickly and it is by using the fishing net. So once you reach level 4 of fishing, you'll unlock this small fishing net and you'll be able to place it at a few places on your farm. So near the ocean, you'll have these little narrow areas between the rocks so you can place the fishing nets here. So on all of your three beaches, you'll have areas like these. So just press Y to put down your fishing net and then next day when you come, you're gonna be able to inspect it and you'll get some fish. Also, when you reach level seven, you'll unlock a multi-purpose fishing net. And at level nine, you'll unlock the recipe for the giant fishing net. So I'm just gonna go over the differences between each one of them. So in the regular fishing net, you can get small fish, squid, seashells, as well as treasures. In the multi-purpose fishing net, you can get small and medium fish, you can get squid, crab, seashells, and treasures. And in the giant fishing nets, you can get small, medium, and big fish, and treasures. So you're not gonna get seashells, you're not gonna get squid or crabs in the giant one, just treasures and fish. So the fishing nets will increase your skill very quickly. But just keep in mind that you can only use them once, so you're gonna have to craft a lot of these. So I just wanna go over the materials that you'll need so you can prepare. So all the fishing nets will require rope. You can make rope using the regular grass. So the basic fishing net will just require rope and hardwood lumber. Then the multi-purpose fishing net will require rope and supple lumber. And the giant one will require rope and durable lumber. So just make sure you have a lot of lumber. And if you make fishing nets every day, you're gonna be to level nine in no time. Also, one little thing to know is that if you wait multiple days, you're not gonna get more fish in your fish nets. So <laughs> make sure you pick up your fish nets after one day. And as I said earlier, you can also get treasures with your fishing nets. So if you place a net on the beach of area three of your farm, you can get the shining spur. So this one you can only get it with a net, so make sure you try to get it. And there's also a few treasures that you can only get by fishing. So if you fish in the lake of area 2, you can get an antique mirror. You need to have at least the silver fishing rod. If you fish in the lake of area 3, also with the silver fishing rod, you can get a time-worn coin. And then with the gold fishing rod in the lake of the third mine, you can find an ancient shell fossil. And in the ancient lake, you can get the prehistoric gear. So that's four treasures in total that you're gonna have to get from either fishing or with the fishing net. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for fishing in the Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. I hope you are able to learn something from this. I hope you're gonna be able to finish your fish collection. So if you have any questions, if there's anything I forgot to mention in this video, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Please feel free to click like and subscribe if you want to see more Story of Seasons content like this. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.